Today we're going to be installing Toodle's Spark Board. It's an optical PCB that goes in the Sanwa JLF model of joystick. Now, to start, we just remove the restrictor gate from our JLF. You do this by pushing all four tabs in at once, and you want to move this up as evenly as possible, like so. Get it even and remove the restrictor plate. We're going to need this again later. Next up is the TPMA switch PCB. With the restrictor gate removed, you can just pull this right out, no trouble at all. This is what we'll be replacing with a spark. And here we have the spark PCB. Now you notice that there is an extra three pin connector, and we'll be taking care of that in a moment. But for now, just replace it where the original TPMA PCB went. Now we're just going to pop back on the restrictor plate. It's much easier to do than removing it, like so. Now we're going to take care of these two harnesses at the bottom. Now first up we have the typical 5-pin header. On the left I have a Samitsu harness and on the right I have a Sanwa harness. As you can see, what connects to it, the 5-pin header, is exactly the same. So either one can be used. The only difference being that the Sumitsu harness has slightly thicker wires than the Sanwa harness. Now, if your stick was already wired to start with, you already had this plugged in. So when you wire up the new Spark PCB, just unplug this from the original PCB and plug it back into the Spark. Now for the 3-pin harness. Included with every spark is what plugs into the 3-pin harness. It only has a single wire. It's black and very easy to use. This single wire needs to be connected to 5 volts. Now, if you're using a Cthulhu, you can simply screw this in to the VCC screw terminal. If you're using something like a Mad Cat's TE, you'll need to solder this to the red USB wire. Next up, connect the remaining five wires to their respective points ground, left, up, down, and right. Check the description for which wire goes to which point. On a Cthulhu, these are right next to the VCC. And there you have it, wired up spark. Now if you plan on using this on consoles other than PS3, 360, PC, Sega Saturn, arcade hardware, or anything else that outputs 5 volts, such as a PlayStation 2, which only outputs about 3 volts, then you need a 5 volt step-up DC-DC converter, like this one pictured. Most of the time they're fairly simple to use, they have a 1 to 4 volt in, which you will connect to the VCC of the multi-console Cthulhu or whatever PCB you're going to be using, one to ground, and then the 5 volt out will be connected to the black wire of the harness that was included with the spark. On the multi-console Cthulhu, the two blue wires are connected to the ground and VCC screw terminals. I've simply soldered them on and then connected them to the 5 volt DC DC converter. Finally, I just solder the black wire from the spark to the 5 volt out. Now, this will always output 5 volts even if you're already on a 5 volt console, such as PS3. So therefore, it's going to be safe to use on all consoles.